Well, then there's Robert Sarver huh. and the Phoenix Suns. Now, you made a video about this as well. Now, you said something interesting. You said that you've actually been calling this guy racist yeah. for the last 12 years. Yeah, no, no, I've seen this guy's hand before. Okay, so show me just, what you've seen. Uh, just the way he moves, the way he moves with his, his, his nose up, the way he talks to people, the way he talks down to people. Um, the things he's, I have personally heard any racist remarks, but I was told by someone very close in the organization some shit he had said about me when I left and was weird because he was always really cool in my face. What did he say about you? Nah, I'm, I'm going to leave it here because like I said, unless I know it was fact, okay, I, can't, I, I can't really go on it. But then I've heard, you know, from my former teammate who was a head coach there, some real racist shit, you know, and then that's my brother Earl Watson. And he could tell his story if he wants. So I always knew, never personally seen it. Heard he spoke on me in a racist way, but wasn't fact, so I never really put that out there. But then, you know, talking to my brother, and he's been telling his story. You know, I mean, Earl has a situation, you know, up there. So I've seen it, I, I've heard it, um, and you just you, when, when you're around him, you can tell he's just a he just he doesn't carry himself the right way, man. So you know, for 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 what he said and did, and, and all the people that came out and spoke with him, um, I'm glad that he's decided to sell the team because there's just no place for not only racism but you know sexually harassing and being inappropriate with people and and, and all the, the laundry list of shit he did you know they said they on record they had him say nigger five times but if you said it five times on record that's a regular word in your vocabulary because there's no way i believe you only said it five times your whole life so there's just a lot of stuff that he did and, and, and maybe someone in his position shouldn't be doing and I thought the NBA suspension was light and, you know, everyone started making noise. And man, when people make noise these days, luckily, when, you know, everyone's pushing for the right thing, things normally happen. So, um, you know, I think I speak for a lot of people involved in the organization of, you know, the NBA that, you know, we're happy he's selling the team. And, you know, hopefully maybe a minority owner could be a part of, you know, a group that picks it up.